I need to get tier 4 complete with Trader Joel, and the reason why is because I want to get another multiplier on my trader stage. For those of you who are new to Alpha 21, which is most people, trader stage is a mechanic which governs what you find in the trader, and trader stage is multiplied by the tier your trader is. But it's only going to reset every time the trader resets, of course, so we need to get a bigger multiplier on our trader stage before day 10, that is when the trader will open. And to get to tier 4 complete, we would have to do tier 4s. But it's not the only way to get tier 4 complete. You see, it would take you 7 tier 4s to complete tier 4. But it's more of a point system, where tier 4s are worth 4 points. And tier 3s are worth 3 points, tier 2s 2, and tier 1s 1. Pretty normal. The point threshold, if you will, that you're trying to reach would be 28, which would be 4 times 7. If we can hit 28 points, without doing tier 4s, then we don't even have to step foot in a tier 4. But we'll do one tier 4, just to see how long they take and if the rewards are worth trying to get. So he's got tier 4s, he's got a fetch clear a few hundred meters away, that's pretty much perfect for testing purposes. Let's grab that. Put your feet. This is a tier 4 I can do with my eyes closed, because pretty much I've mastered the way of not dying horribly whilst doing this PY. We're gonna need a couple of hatches though for the way I do this. Some people hate this. I don't care. There's other videos on the internet. So I like to cut this PY in half and tackle it into movements. We're gonna start this one over here and take note of the time. It's about 6.40. That's when we started. So that'll be relevant to when we finish the POI. You want to put a hatch here, open that up, start breaking down this door because this room is usually filled with ferals. No, okay, let's step inside. Nobody's here. Nobody's here. What? Did they change it? I don't like that they changed it because now where are those zombies going to be hiding? Okay, that's concerning. They've changed this POI. Which leads me to the natural conclusion that they've either made it a lot easier, or they've made that room of ferals somewhere else, which means I now have to bash this down. And it has so much health. Oh my god, where's the normal door? You know what, it looks like they've nerfed me. They've made that room pointless, but they've made this room really hard to get into, so we're just gonna have to do the PY the way they want us to. Okay, this next room is one of those rooms I was talking about that's an absolute nightmare. It usually spawns a feral white and a dog. Let's see, we can maybe reload the sniper rifle and take the dog out. Aha. And then the feral white comes out. So yeah, if you were doing this same as me, you would pretty much have to put a hatch here. Because they run at nightmare speed for me and there's pretty much nothing I can do about them. They have so much health. He would just chew through all of my armor and health before I could kill him. You generally want to avoid boxing matches when you're playing on insane difficulty because you usually lose. Oh, I had a lockpick. I wasn't even expecting that. Well, here's open its first try, at least. Ah, screw it. One more. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm not getting the tier 4 loot then, am I? I can make lockpicks. I'm just not used to being able to make lockpicks because now they come with the books and I'm used to just being like, I'm not going to perk point into that. Usually two in here. There might be more nowadays. Oh, still two. Here's another terrible room. Down there. You see, you're left with no way to get back up. Because the ladder stops. Let's see what we can maybe do about that, though. Because I am not going down there this way if there's no escape route. Just straight up, it's a terrible idea. You can call it cheese all you want, but, like, it's a survival game and I'm here to survive. Right, this door will give me a little bit of protection while I figure this out. No. Oh, they better not do what I think they're about to do. They lock this door behind me. If they lock this goddamn door behind me, I swear to god, fun pimps, you have officially lived up to your moniker of the unfun pimps. If that is what you're about to do to me, you're hacks, I swear to god. It's not clear. We've done the whole POI and it's not clear, so... They must have set it up so that the ferals in that other room don't spawn until you do something in here. Okay, it doesn't lock the door behind me. It doesn't lock the door behind me. They're not the worst people who have ever lived in human history. That's nice of them.
Yeah, see, I think tier 3s is just going to be way easier than doing this. Because this is taking multiple hours now, even with some cheese tactics. Okay, that was absolutely not worth the time, but I will go in there and open up some of the easier loot for my troubles. I'm not going to sit and do that. I don't care what's in there. We can come back to it anytime. As long as we come back within a week, the zombies won't be respawned yet, so... I'm hoping for a good quest reward, at least. In another world, that would be useful. But we are not in that world. We are in this world of spears. So I'm going to take a crafting magazine bundle, because it's more useful than any of that. That was awful. Even if that had given me a tier 6 steel spear, I don't think that would have been worth it. And they're all so far away. Let's just do tier 3s. Actually, all those are kind of far away. Let's just do them anyway. Ah, it's gears. Updated to our tier 3, so I'm told. Well, let's have a look and say, Oh, just, just, they're just spawned in. Hang on. And then we still fall down here. Is there a doorway with a key? Yeah. Skill point, let's go for some more salvage ops. So far this is pretty much exactly the same as it was, but now there's a couple more zombies in a few annoying places. There's a cop in here now, okay. Oh, it's a barrel cop, okay. Okay, they made it a bit harder. Lol. Try our one lockpick. I will not be wasting multiple hours bashing that open. Whatever is inside is inevitably terrible. That is how this game works. Hmm, hunting knife. I'll take that. What do you think you can, no matter Go see what. this job then. The Hyde Residence. Have I done this one yet? Well, I've done it in Alpha 20, but have I done it in Alpha 21 though? Right, Vulture up here then. Oh, you coming, buddy? See, that was so much easier than a tier 4 would have been. Scrapping for fun, a treasure map I will never bother to actually go and visit. A couple of bandages and some shotgun shells. People ever wondered why I don't bother with looting half the things I find. The compound crossbow is one of the best stealth weapons in the game, but like, I'm not really using stealth much, so I'm going to take more crafting magazines. Uh, tier 3 infested clue, let's see. Johnny Town. Could you help traveler? I will take the infested clear to the north, and I'll go and see the other Joel and hopefully get some jobs from him as well. Uh, open this up. Oh nice, three rifles, three sharp sticks, and three vehicle adventures, I'm pretty sure that's just luck. So we've unlocked the mini bike, oil, and gas. I'm not really going to bother with a mini bike, I don't think. What does it take to make one? Although it is extremely easy to make one, isn't it? Oh, they did they make it easier? I need an engine, a car battery, a couple of wheels. Oh, screw it. Let's make a mini bike for old time's sake. Okay, so to make our mini bike, we're going to need wheels. We've got one wheel. Okay, only one wheel, but I can probably craft a second wheel, right? Acid, coal, polymers, forged iron. Coal, acid, forged iron, oil, scrap polymers. One wheel. Mini bike. Chassis needs duct tape, leather, electrical parts, mechanical parts. Uh, leather? Here's my engine, I'll need that as well. Duct tape. Electrical parts, mechanical parts. What else was it? Oh, that's all we need there, right? Mini bike chassis, and then handlebars. Springs, pipes. Ah, of course, I probably used most of my pipes for uh, pipe bombs yesterday. I just need nine pipes. In the meantime, though, I need to get myself a car battery, which wasn't particularly difficult to do in Alpha 20. 
But let's see if I can still do it as easily in Alpha 21. We're getting a load of pipes from doing this as well. I don't even need to do that. Hey, car battery, level six. I feel bad using this. There's absolutely no advantage to using a higher level battery in a vehicle. So this is just me wasting money, but I am saving time. So I'm just going to do that, I guess. So handlebars, we still need a few pipes. I'm sure my forge will help me out. Yeah, four. And then I've got the other stuff pretty much. So I just need the chassis and those pipes. Mini bike handlebars, it's going to take a minute. In the meantime, I'm going to go and scrap up a few cars because I'm going to need gas. I don't have a chemistry station yet, so my only real way of getting gas is going to be scrapping cars. Handlebars and mini bike. It took the expensive battery first. Why? No advantage to doing so, game. Don't do that to me. Interesting, a new update just came out for 7 Days to Die as I'm playing, and they've made it so that the books are less common which is pretty interesting. The magazines, the crafting magazines, that's not going to apply to this episode because I am not stopping my recording halfway through. But in the next episode, you can expect to see a reduced amount of those magazines crafting. Very, very interesting. They also did some good bug fixing. There it is. Boop. Fuel that up. Have my extra gas in there. I'm going to take my bicycle. It out, and I'm going to take it and put it in my mini bike. I like to do that in case I run out of gas, or maybe in this case I break my mini bike. So I still have a ways of getting around, you know? Oh yeah, they gave it a new horn. Okay, I'm going to drive up to the next trader and see if I can even get there before the night. That didn't take too long at all. It was like an in-game hour. Not awful. Let's get this started. Okay, it's an infested clear, so we have to be careful. Oh, that's a feral. <laughs> in a normal... POI. Well, it's not a normal POI, is it? Oh, just in time. Two ferals in the front door. We got a skill point there. Uh, let's see. Maybe we should start going into some strength and getting minor 69er and stuff. Because I'm going to start needing a lot of resources, and I don't know how the concrete economy is later on in the game. Alright, well, now we know there's ferals in the table. This is a feral as well. Oh, ow. I mean, hop outside. Yeah, I don't think these infested ones are worth doing early on. I should not be fighting ferals at this stage. Cap the damn building with him. Normal guys. Oh, did I get both of them with one hit? Ah, there's a feral. Ow. I wouldn't mind the ferals as much if they didn't do this bullshit. Stay in there. So much unneeded effort in that. Well, let's go see what the invested cash had at least. Meh. Someone was asking me in the other video if they give you steel when you wrench them, so let's find out. Oh, my UI's bugged. Perfect. Looks like they give you forged iron. Looks like they give you six by my um, testing there. My extremely limited testing. Actually, wait, no, I have salvage operations, so it won't even give you six if you do it. It'll give you like two. And you still get a leather trunk at the end. And it still has like tier two loot in it. Absolutely not worth even bothering with. Yeah, I'm just going to sit up here. If I can't get any jobs done, there's not much progression I can even do. So we wait until the quests come. Okay, it's almost the morning of day nine. Let's head back out there. We've got a couple of guys waiting to greet us, but we can probably take them. You know, that quest didn't actually send us into this little side room. What is it? Can I... There we go. Now we need to do three more tier threes with this Trader Joel and then drive home to the other Trader Joel and that will give us tier four complete unlocking tier five. I think... That means we'll have our trader stage multiplied by five. I've not had Alpha 21 long enough to do some serious deep diving into these mechanics, so I do apologize for the lack of precision, but generally we want the quest here to be up because we get better stuff at the trader for it. Oh, he has a couple of ranks of uh, Rifle World. Not worth using awesome sauce on, but worth grabbing them anyway. Driver. Lever action rifle quality too, nice. What tier threes do you have, Joel? 
Ah, he's only got two. Okay, we'll have to go back and see the other Joel then. So, Fiery like Farms. Good old fashioned clear. How dare you survive? <laughs> Jump fence, oh, it was a bit cool. <laughs> See, that was so easy compared to a tier 3 infested. And they're the same tier, it just doesn't make sense to do them. Alright, nice. Trafficking for fun, southern farming, another bloody impact bracer and a level 6 bow. Can't even sell that. Another rifle magazine, though. Well, let us visit for a while. What a random collection of items, none of which I particularly need. Uh, let's do the fetch what clear. Kind of oh, it's this place again. Yeah. All right, let's get it done. Hello there. Hmm. I wonder if I missed this last time. Steel Spear quality 4, nice. Almost worth crafting one. Oh, you're a feral, hey. Still expect to see some ferals in tier 3 after all. Now, I'll take a couple per POI quite happily though. When there's like 7 of them, it's a bit much. Sounds like we might have a wandering horde outside, which is a minor problem. Any of the final guys here ferals, because they're the ones that have to be dead first. Not nope, just normal guys, okay. Sounds like a lot of zombies out there. Right, well, you guys need to learn a lesson about spacing. I don't think they learned the lesson, to be honest with you. Yep, no lockpicks, not bothering with that. I'll make some when I get back home, though. Howdy. Many thanks. You've proved to be very resourceful. I'm once again going to take the crafting skill magazines. Yeah, none of that was particularly worthwhile, but hey. Tier 3 quest seems to have, like, the worst rewards now. Um, so we're gonna go back to the other trader, Joel. We'll finish this one quest for him. Oh, I've unlocked the stack of gunpowder now. Nice. Uh, we're going to give that quest back to Joel, and then we'll do another tier 3 if he has any decent ones. If he doesn't, we can always do a couple of tier 2s for the same effect. Hey there, well, Joel. You've made my day. Hey, Phil Spear. Your payment. Pretty good. Right, let's take one more tier 3 from him. Oh, are they all sending me really far? We can go yeah, south 900 meters. Ooh, Fort Razor. Sounds hardcore. Alright, switch into the Steel Spear. I can craft a slightly better one, but it's not really worth the effort, is it? So I'm just going to head straight out to this Fort Razor, which is going to be in a new area, which is nice. And then we'll come back and get this final reward. This isn't a fort, it's barely an outpost. Oh, I stabbed her through him. Oh, there's a military chest in here. I wonder if there's one in that other... Ow! Why did that make no noise? They're usually screaming when they're running towards you. What was that? Anyway, as I was saying, I wonder if there was a military chest in here I didn't check. Oh, no, just a garbage pile. Eh, cobblestone, I'll take it. Skill point, yay. Put that into intellect again. That was staggeringly easy. Forgot to make more bloody log picks. Sniper, there we go, that's the one I wanted, the one that'll let me craft 7.62 ammo. And then military goods. Flashlight. Grab it. Still not gonna be bashing open the loot though, it's just not worth the time. 
flame charges. Oh, those are an alternative to lockpicks. Some might say a more fun alternative. Another steel spear. <laughs> I'll take... Wait, hang on, hang on. 32... Uh, 33, mine's better, even accounting for the mods. Take that again. Okay, we have some interesting rewards here for once. We have the military armor bundle, which is okay. It'll, it'll give you five pieces of level three armor. The battery bank bundle will give you some battery banks and some electrical stuff. The range mod bundle gives you range mods. The food bundle will give you some decent food items, but I'm more interested in the four by four parts bundle. Let's see what we get. Okay, we got the accessories and... We got a battery, plus we got four wheels, plus three of these. This will save us a bunch of electrical parts, pipes, and mechanical parts down the road. I need to get my hands on a chassis though, that's kind of the hard part of it. Still probably worth taking. Okay, we've unlocked ratchets at level two. Cement mixers are unlocked. Okay, what's next on the workstations then? Chemistry stations at 50, okay. And then crucibles at 75. Okay. He's tier 5 now, I think. Tomorrow he'll have tier 5 jobs for us, so he should have a 5 times multiplier on the stuff he gets in his inventories. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to buy these anvils. I'm going to buy this duct tape. Yeah, I'm, I'm tempted by the concrete mix, to be honest. And I shouldn't be. I'm going to buy it. Even though I can make my own cement mixers already, if I'm going to buy it, I should do it at least with the discount. So let me go see if I left the awesome sauce out here. Because I have a bunch of money. Like, I am fine on money. Uh, or did I take the awesome sauce home? That's kind of annoying. Oh, we have the awesome sauce in here. Okay, I'll grab that and my extra money. I'll go buy all that concrete mix. Why? I want XP. Even though I can make my own cement mixers, I'm not particularly good at mining yet, which is a key problem. So... I will buy that concrete mix. Now, you absolutely do not have to do that. And the reason for that is because you're basically fine. You don't need it. Sugar butt's nice. Yeah, you don't need concrete for week two. I just want concrete for week two. And I want to do it without having to mine anything, preferably. So let me grab this concrete mix. Not too bad. I think I used like 7,000 there or something. For a decent amount of concrete and a solid amount of XP that I can turn that into during the night. Right, I'm going to take my concrete out to the base and see if I can get a couple of levels off of this. I should have maybe considered buying some learning elixir from the trader. Or at least checking if they had any, because that would give me like, was it 20% more XP? Let me drink some coffee. So first I'm going to focus on this outer skirt part here, making sure that the zombies just can't bring it down. Get away from me. I am so stupid. Imagine how smart I would be if I wasn't so goddamn dumb. Well, let's try that again. Okay, we got our first skill point. Let's definitely get Daring Adventure. That's just going to tack on an extra 10 to our trader stage tomorrow when the trader resets. I doubt we'll have time to get another level before then, though. Still, this is a good chunk of my base already in concrete, and I don't even have a cement mixer yet, and that's a good sign. That'll do for now. Alright, what do we need to do now then? I'm not even sure. What about writable storage? That seems like an obvious step. We need wood and nails. Uh, let's see, I have no... I have none of either, but... Uh, I have iron, I think. Yeah, here's some iron. Oh, we can already make like enough just off of what we have. I don't think I'll need more than ten. Okay, well, it pays to have the iron smelted up and ready to go anyway. I'm gonna go collect some wood. Okay, wood acquired. Nails. N writable storage. Let me split them between me and the workbench, since crafting has decided to be so bloody extra this time around. Oh, I made ten, but my room's only nine. Well, we can have another box for trader shit, I guess. We're gonna need more room soon, but we can always expand into the lower levels. Now then, what are the ten genres of nonsense I feverishly stuff into my pockets? Like a Victorian schoolchild in a sweet shop. Okay. 
These are the 10 genres, random shit I stuff in my pockets. Capitalism, ammo and throwables, equipment and mods, earth shit, processed earth shit, scrap, drugs, doof, building stuff and parts. That should do for a very long time. That is broad enough for my needs right now. Okay, so it's just about the morning of day 10, and I got a little bit bored during the night, so I've been out scrapping cars, and let me tell you, you get a lot more acid from that Wasteland Treasures book. This one here adds a chance to harvest acid from cars and medical equipment. That happens a lot more now from cars. I also scrapped a couple of gas pumps, that's why I've got forged steel and forged iron. I queued up some lockpicks as well, because I finally remembered to. I think it was like 36 of them, so that should keep us going for a little while. Maybe two whole containers with that. So I'm going to finish scrapping up this truck, and then I'm going to take a little bit of an inventory, and I want to make some forged iron and queue up a few cement mixers at the workbench. I absolutely do not need cement mixers. I could not even use cement mixers right now because I don't have the mining skill to get that much stone. It's kind of just something I like to do sometimes, is just make all the crafting stations because it makes me feel productive. Engines... Let's maybe get enough for four, I guess? This is way too many, but... <laughs> screw it, right? Uh, cement mixer one, four minutes. Can that only be done in there as well? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to let this do its thing. I'm going to put the cement mixer parts here and remember those for later. And we're going to head out to the trader, make sure to grab my money. And awesome sauce and sugar buzz. Okay, you better have something good after all the effort I put into getting this open. Okay, he's got nerdy glasses, but I already have those. Decent amount of construction materials, good. Not exactly necessary. Uh, home Cooking Weekly, and Handyland. This will actually unlock nail guns for me when I get it, so that's good. Another anvil. Compound bows, interesting. Some food. Player vending machine, and a cement mixer. <laughs> I am obviously not going to take that, because I don't need one. That is kind of trash. After all the effort I put into getting the trader stage up, he's still trash has nothing to buy. Well, there's the other Trader Joel we can check. I'm gonna buy that. I'm not gonna bother with anything else. At least we get a nail gun out of this. There we go. Quality one nail gun is pretty much the same as all the other nail guns. I just need to find a motor tool part. I might even have one. I definitely have the forged steel, so I'm good on that part. Let's go see the other Trader Joel. Maybe he'll have something worth buying. Uh, let's see. Sharp sticks. Another cement mixer. Bunch of antibiotics. Pretty cheap antibiotics, actually. Do I need any of this? Most of this isn't even worth taking the discount items for. Why are you so terrible? Even with a high trader stage like mine. Hmm. I'm at 67 out of 75 on those books. Okay, so since the traders seem to have absolutely nothing for me, I've got to take my progression into my own hands. And to do that, I'm going to loot the Crack -a Book Cafe. Now, I'm going to leave the game... And I'm going to update to the new version of Alpha 21, which has nerfed bookcases because I don't want this part of the episode to be completely misrepresentative of what Alpha 21 is. So I am going to leave, come back, and then we'll see if Trader Joel maybe has a quest to take us to the Crack Book Cafe, meaning I can double loot it. So we'll see how that goes. So I'll be back in just a second for you, but it's going to be like 20 minutes for me. And we're back in the next update. Let's see if he has a quest. Uh, let's see, he's got three options. Box, Primed Group, Wildfire Camping, maybe check the Restore Power one? Can you help me with no, okay. We'll go without a quest and just loot it once then, I suppose. Alright, let's see how bad this book nerf really was. Okay, I'm just going to start looting these containers and killing zombies. Okay, this is what we're looking at from just the first room, and as you can see, there's still a solid amount of books there. <laughs> but uh, we'll look out. We'll look the other rooms before we make our final verdict. Is that all? Looks like it is. Okay, let's open up these um 
Oh, that was unlocked anyway. Let's open up these book crates. Okay. Right, let's open this up. It's not going to have many books, but it's worth checking first. Hmm, first try. Yeah. Lockpick profit at least. Okay, let me use that bandolier. So, what are we looking at loot-wise? So we got a bunch of skill books. Let's clear out the skill books and the attachment books first. Those aren't exactly what we're looking for. Let me store all this away real quick. So this is what we're left with. It does definitely seem like a significant nerf compared to what you got from the other cracker book, but we're kind of comparing two different things here. But we got seven rifle mags. We're up to lever action rifles quality three, pretty good. Uh, we got four medical journals. We got herbal antibiotics and probably nothing else. Knife guy, don't care. Home cooking weekly, steak and potato meals. Andyland, who cares? Forge ahead, nothing. Explosives, nothing. Crafting. Ratchet quality 3, nice. Spears are up to 69, nice. Tech planet, robotic sledge, tools digest, iron tools quality 3, pretty good. Vehicle adventures, nothing from that, and wiring. Okay. So that was a solid amount of books. Still, even after the nerf, still worth your time, definitely. Like, we gained a lot from that. Should I make a lever action? The rifle parts, 45 force, we should make one of those. That's really good. <laughs> Take a tier two from him. Uh, fetch will do fine. Well, alrighty then. Let's... It'll help me get some forged steel for my nail gun and stuff as well. Vehicles, nice. We're up to twenty nine. We need forty five to do anything new, though. No kill crates. Sharp sticks. We're up to 70 of those. Nice. Let's see. You've made my okay, we still got a crafting skill right. magazine. That's good. And we got two rifles. Oh, now I want to do more. Because I can get slightly better rifle out of it. A level 4. If I get three more books, that seems inevitable at this rate. Oh, we're going to do it then. Okay. I'm running out of storage space here. If you're wondering why I'm doing tier 2s, by the way, they're the ones that give you forged steel, which is going to be the biggest issue for crafting my gun. That's why we're doing tier 2s. Ow! I stood on a goddamn landmine. It's going to be respawned this time. Mailbox. Hey, that is saddening. Oh, the single mortar tool part. Nice. <laughs> That's something then, that made it worth coming out for. Oh nice, he bled out. Nothing particularly notable. I finally unlocked something with the wiring books, basic electricity, nice. Let's open up the gun safe and hope we get like a, at least a couple of rifle magazines. Oh, we got a rifle though. It's kind of cool. Scrap that for a few parts. I think I already did. Scrap so quickly. But let's check upstairs. There was some other stuff. Oh, a room with loads of books in it. Thank you, game. Come on, rifle books. Sticks and vehicles, or was that scrapping? Scrapping, yeah. Electrical traps. Damn it. Oh, a safe. Okay, level 6 pipe rifle. Thanks, game. Oh, crafting magazine bundle or just more forged steel? I think I'll go for the crafting magazines. Oh, cool. Cool. Rifles. Rifles. Uh, how close are we now? We need one to unlock level 4. Are you Do you happen to sell any? I missed. Oh, uh, no. I need one magazine. Okay, we have to go and find one magazine. We have to. I can't just craft a level 3 when I'm one magazine away from a level 4. There will be a mailbox somewhere. 
There we go. Right, let's go home and craft it. Now, how much forged steel did I have? 60. I don't know if we'll be able to make both, but we can certainly try. And I also need glue and I need cloth. So to make my lever action, I need some more springs and some more duct tape. I need eight more duct tape. There we go, we can make that. Lever action rifle. And then for our nail gun, we need two more forged steel, three more duct tape. That was as good a time as any to tell you how to find forged steel really easily early game without doing quests because it's night time. Uh, where's a lamppost? This one will do. There's one forged steel, there's two forged steel. Boom. Easy. Even got one spare. I'll take three more minutes. What about cement mixers then, huh? Got the forged iron. I'm gonna need a lot of forged iron in the coming days. Let's make. Two more cement mixers, why not? We've got one. Let's place it here. I just want to show something off really quickly. Cement mixer. Let's just make like a hundred crushed sand. It spins! It makes a lot of noise, that's really annoying. <laughs> that's really annoying already. That's not a good sign. I need a lot more forged iron, because I'm just about to start needing a lot of it, basically. Uh, let's see, we have a lot of scrap polymers, we have a lot of pipes, we have a decent amount of glue, washer filters, do collector. What do I need? Just the duct tapes? I need 12 duct tape. I'm gonna need a lot of that in the coming days as well. In fact, to that end, where's my bone? Murky water, clean water, where's my current dew collector? It's probably full. Yep, 12 more glue, that'll be fine. Eleven in here, that's fine. Okay, dew collector. Make three of those in my inventory. Go. Second dew collector. A third dew collector. And a fourth dew collector. So that will now produce me twelve water per day. Decent. Lever action rifle's done. No need to keep the hunting rifle around anymore, so we'll modify that. Throw that away for now. Here we go, now we have a real weapon. Now did I get a good roll on the ammo capacity? I got five, that's not too bad. You can get six, I think, but I've had four before. So, I will accept this. We've also got our nail gun, which can just replace the hammer. The hammer doesn't do much for me. Nail gun upgrades things in one click. I will demonstrate. Okay, easy. Very nice. Okay, we got the two cement mixers coming. You've seen the cement mixer, you don't need to see that part. More forged iron. More forged iron. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the 7 Days to Die Alpha 21 Survival Guide. Thank you to my channel members and patrons for making this video possible, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.